All right, welcome. Let's get started. We'll actually start off laying on your back. So go ahead and find a Shavasana or a constructive rest with your feet on the ground and your knees bent. Palms can be faced up or down, your choice. And since you're practicing at home, you might first look around so that you can get that out of the way. Look around, look at the things that you have to do or the things you've been wanting to do and see if you can identify them, recognize it, acknowledge it, and then take a big breath in and let it go. Then close your eyes if it's comfortable for you. And then just like we looked around, I want you to start to listen to what you hear in your space, in your room, your house, maybe outside of your house. And again, simply acknowledge those sounds for what they are with, without judgment. And then take a big breath in and a nice exhale out representing you also letting those sounds go. And start to tune in to the sound of your breath. And maybe start to find a rhythm to your breathing that is a natural rhythm, or you might also choose to partake in ujjayi breath and start to make your breath sound like the waves of the ocean crashing back and forth. With each inhale and exhale, there's this vibration in the back of your throat. So whatever style of breath you choose, find your personal rhythm. And see if you can bring to the forefront of your mind how your breath is moving your body. Notice the natural rise and fall of the belly or the chest. Notice your ribs maybe expanding, your back pressing against the mat. And if you can't really feel that sensation in your physical body right now, that's also okay too. So maybe instead you follow the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils, focusing on that space right above your upper lip and feel the little breeze coming in and coming out so that you're still tapping into the sensation of your breath. As you continue to connect with your breath, begin to scan your body, your physical body, and see if you can feel where your body connects with the mat and the earth below you. Or maybe the temperature in the room. Maybe you even can go a little deeper and notice where in your body feels really firm and steady and strong. And then where else in your body feels maybe really pleasant and effortless. Stira Sukham Asanam. This is Yoga Sutra 2.46. There's only three sutras that actually give a guidance guide to how our yoga practice should be when it comes to asana. Stira means steadiness, awareness, rigor, stable, firm. Sukham means comfort, ease, and pleasure. Asanam is posture, attitude, mental, emotional, and physical. It's a seated posture, physical exercise. 
So this means the posture is firm and comfortable. To coin a phrase, posture is a visible part of the yoga iceberg. It only exists when two qualities are combined and fully present, stira and sukha. Stira is mental firmness, presence in the moment, self-awareness, a regular breath and steadiness of the body. Sukha, the opposite of dukkha, indicates well-being, smooth breath, and a comfortable, easeful attitude producing happiness and pleasure. These two characteristics, stira and sukha, complete and reinforce each other. The posture is steady because it's pleasant, and it's pleasant because it's steady. This definition shows that asana is more than a simple exercise routine. It is an attitude of the entire personality in the present practice of postures as well as in daily life. So once again, each layer, body, breath, energy, mind, and emotions is involved. So today's practice is about you really, really focusing on this intention. How can you find both steadiness and ease, both stability and comfort, both awareness and pleasure in your practice. And not only looking at your physical body, but looking at your energetic body, your breath, looking at your mental state and your emotional state so that this entire practice really contributes to your overall well-being. So that is our intention today. Can you find the balance of both stira and sukha? So with that intention in mind, let's take three cleansing breaths together. Let's start with our air, emptying it all out. Inhale in through your nose. And big exhale out of your mouth. Again, breathe in. Let it go. One more, big breath in. And audible exhale out. Wonderful. Go ahead and come back into your rhythm and your cadence of breathing. From that position on your back. If your legs are in constructive rest, you can straighten your legs and bring them out in front of you. If that happens to be too much on your lower back, then bring them back to the floor. Inhale, send your arms up towards the ceiling. We'll start with a couple of static poses. So at first, just reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then back behind you. And get a little stretch from your fingers all the way through your toes. You might notice a natural arc in your lower back here. And let that happen. Just a couple of breaths. Feeling free to do anything that's organic to you. And then from this really big stretch, we'll start to add a lateral bend. So take your right leg, lift it up, and bring it as far out to the side and lower it down. Take your left leg, lift it up, and then slide it across to meet the right so that your feet are maybe off of your mat. And then take your hands, grab your left wrist with your right hand, and reach it up and over to the right. So your body is creating a banana shape, a moon-like shape, a crescent moon shape. While you maintain both of your hips on the ground, both shoulders are on the ground. Some people really like to lift the left ankle and cross it over the right. If you want to add some counter rotation, take your left chin towards the left armpit. And remembering our intention that this should feel both firm and comfortable. Both steady and easy. 
So at any point, adapt the practice in order to find that. Whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, or your breath. Let's take another breath in. And as you exhale, if you turn your head, bring it back to neutral. We'll come out the way we came in. Release your hands first, bring them back to center. Lift your left leg, bring it back to center. Lift your right leg, bring it back to center. And take the arms, bring them right back next to your legs. And for a moment, a brief moment, notice the subtleties. I do this so much more in my practice. Before I would just rush to the other side, but now I really like to pause. See if I can recognize the difference. On your next breath, reach your arms up. Reach behind you. And we'll lift our left leg up, not too high, just enough so that you can slide it over as far as your body allows you to. And then lift the right leg and do the same, bring it up and over. Again, your legs might be off of your mat, they might not be. Take your hands, grab your left wrist. Sorry, your left hand is going to grab your right wrist and reach it over towards the left. Again, creating a crescent moon shape. Keeping your shoulders and your hips on the ground and your heels. You might lift the right foot and cross it over the left. And finally, you can breathe in. And as you breathe out, maybe turn your gaze over to the right. How's your breath? Take a breath in. As you breathe out, your head comes back to neutral. We first bring our arms back to center, then the right leg back to center, followed by the left leg. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your arms forward. Take a moment here. Inhale in. And as you exhale, bring your arms out to a T. Palms turn down for some stability. Inhale, bend the knees and bring them in towards your chest. As you exhale, start to wiggle the knees side to side. So we're not gonna go to a full static posture here, but we will Move dynamically through this twist and you can move at your own pace, going as slow or as quick as your body needs. And some of us are going to bring our legs to a hover and others might want to bring it all the way to the ground. You choose, but really try to maintain that spinal twist from the belly button. Couple more. Then take it back to the center. Breathe in. As you exhale, hug the knees into your chest. And you're going to either spinal roll up and down or pass through a fetal position and come all the way up. And I'm going to do a couple spinal rolls and then come up. Let's turn around and come on to all fours and move through your cat cow. Inhaling, lowering the belly, draw the heart forward. And today, let's see if we can stay here for a few breaths, about five. And just get a feel of your spine coming in this direction here, taking the gaze forward or maybe even up. Pressing through your hands and your knees. 
so many times when I come into this pose, I'm focused on my front body, but I want you to bring your awareness to your back body. See if you can draw the shoulder blades in and down as you press your hands into the earth. And then see if you can really draw the sit bones back as you add this element of your knees widening. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, chin to chest first, then hold the heart, then round through the spine and your tailbone tucks last. Let's hold cat pose for five breaths too. As you're drawing your navel towards your spine, again, I want you to think about your back body. So really feel the shoulder blades as they're spreading. Notice the mid back, the lower back. Stay with your breath. Another inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Ah, breathe in. And as you exhale, sit back into your child's pose. So today we're focusing on all the movements of the spine. And we're gonna take a pattern to it. So from your child's pose, walk your right hand over and then your left to the right so you can get a lateral bend. Breathing here. And again, make each pose feel both steady and easy. Freedom to explore the pose, explore movements and actions that provide that experience for you. Breathe in. As you exhale, come back to center. Observe. Breathe in. As you breathe out, walk it over to the left. How's your breath? One more inhale. And exhale, take it back to center. Take the right arm, breathe in. And as you breathe out, thread it through underneath your left armpit. Bringing your right temple to the ground or your forehead. And if you want a little bit more of a twist, you can lift your hips up. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring your arm back out in front of you. Take a moment and inhale. Exhale, the left arm comes under. So I'm taking more of a child's pose approach to this. But again, if you want a little bit more of a twist, you can scoot your hips up so that you're kind of coming into a puppy dog or half down dog kind of position. I found that to be too much of a twist for me at this point in the class, but maybe after a warm up, it would feel a little bit more comfortable. And remember, that's what we're going for both stability and comfort.
Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, lift yourself back up to your tabletop. Walk your hands forward out in front of you and lower the chest to the ground for your half down dog or puppy dog. So we're getting into this really big extension of the spine again. Forehead can come to the mat or maybe chin if you want a little bit more. Take another breath. As you exhale, slowly come back and take your arms and bring them in between your knees for a really rounded child's pose so that you're coming into a deep flexion. Forehead to the ground, maybe even the crown of the head to the ground. Breathe in. As you exhale, pull your arms back out. Bring it to tabletop. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees up. And let's walk it out. Walk out your down dog. Continuing the theme of working all the movements of our spine. Take your heels and send them both to the left. Okay, then bend your knees and sit back so that you can feel the stretch in the right side of your body. We won't be here as long. Breathe in, and as you exhale, come back to center. Breathe in. As you exhale, send your heels over to the opposite side to the right. Bend the knees and sit back. Pushing your hands into the mat, you'll feel it on the left side of the body. Lateral bend. Breathe in. Breathe out as you come back to center. Let's go for the twist now. Inhale. And as you exhale, take your left hand and slide it over, either just to the floor, or you might grab your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. Just a little twist here, looking underneath the right armpit. Maintaining that central position. One big breath in, and exhale, bring your hand back out. Take a moment, then breathe in. Breathe out, take your right hand over to the left side of the mat, or the left side of the body, the leg, whatever you can reach and rotate your head to that same side. You're pressing into the left hand to keep everything at your midline here. The verse is leaning to one side. Breathe in, and as you exhale, breathe out. Bring your hand back to center. Take an inhale and roll yourself forward into your high plank. Let's all lower our knees for our first chaturanga and lower down to the ground, belly to the floor. Press through the tops of the feet, send the tailbone back towards your heels, kiss the shoulder blades, and start to press into your hands for cobra pose. Some of us are gonna stay right here. Some of us feel warm enough to come a little bit higher into cobra with straight elbows. This is as far as I'll go. Maybe today you're trying to go all the way up into up dog. Feel free to do what your body needs, picking a pose that's both steady and easy. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, push back, tuck the toes, 
and walk yourself forward into your first fold, keeping the knees bent. Uttanasana. And again, walk it out. Do what feels organic to you. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, bend the knees, start to bring the hips lower. Hands come to your waist and press to your feet as you straighten your legs, standing all the way up. And arms come down to your sides. Do a little self check here, starting from your feet, up through the legs, hips, torso, fingers, arms, shoulders, head, and face. Come back to your breath. Come back to that intention of having a practice that is both stira and sukha. All right, so let's warm up the body. We're gonna go through some sun salutations and we're gonna take it quick, quick, and then go really slow and slow it down. So if you're not already at the top of your mat, you can go ahead and walk over. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, laterally bend to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, lateral bend to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, rotate to the right, arms to a T. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus your arms, opening up your heart. Back bend. Send the tailbone down to protect the lower back. Inhale, come up. And exhale, take a dive and forward fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step your feet back to high plank. I'll start with my right, then the left. Inhale, come forward onto your toes. Maybe you drop the knees like we did before. Let's lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana as we exhale. Flip the toes, find your back bend, baby cobra, high cobra, or up dog, your choice. Exhale, roll the toes under and push up and back into your down dog. Inhale, bring the toes together, bend the knees and look forward. And as you exhale, step to the top. I'm gonna to go with my right. Inhale, half lift. As you exhale, fold back in half. Inhale, root to rise, stretch it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, laterally bend to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Inhale to center, spinal twist to the left. Inhale up, exhale cactus, open your heart, drawing the cubic going up towards the belly button. Inhale up, exhale fold in half, flexing your spine. Inhale, half lift. Fingers are on the floor, shins are blocks. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. I'm gonna go with my left this time. High plank to low plank, you choose to modify. You could always skip two and go straight to down dog. Inhale, choose your heart opener here, protecting your lower back by spiraling the thighs up towards the ceiling. Exhale, roll the toes under and shift back into your down dog. 
Bring the toes together. Take an inhale, bending the knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. I'm going to go with my left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, reach it high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to slow it down for this third round. You're going to go at a slower cadence with your breath. And it'll be challenging at first, but it's a good challenge. Bringing your hands by your sides, exhale your air out first. And then start to slowly inhale, reaching your arms up for one, two, three, four. Start to exhale and dive, four, three, two, one, and fold. Inhale up for one, two, three, four. Exhale, fold back down, four, three, two, one. Go right back up. Inhale for one, two, three, four. And exhale, hands to heart for four, three, two, one. So let's keep that pace going through the spinal movements in our sun A. Empty all of your air out. Inhale up for one, two, three, four. Exhale to the right for four, three, two, one. Inhale up for one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left for four, three, two, one. Inhale to center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, twist to the right, four, four, three, two, one. Inhale to center for one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left for four, three, two, one. Inhale to center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, cactus, four, three, two, one. Inhale up for one, two, three, four. Exhale, dive for four, three, two, one. Inhale, half lift, one, two, three, four. Exhale, step to plank for four, three, two, one. Hold your plank. Inhale for one, two, three, four. How slow can you go? Exhale, lower, four, three, two, one. One. Inhale, cobra. One, two, three, four. Exhale, down dog. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, bend the knees bare for one, two, three, four. Exhale, forward. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, half lift. One, two, three, Four. Exhale, full for four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise for one, two, three, four. Exhale, hands to heart, four, three, two, one. Take a moment and stand in your mountain and let go of that controlled breath and breathe naturally here. See if you can find a freedom in a more natural cadence. So just like asana, some styles of pranayama are going to be really challenging, but then you benefit after. So let's go back to your normal state, and we're going to go into sun B. So inhale, sit into your chair, bend the knees, and really enjoy the easiness of this breath. Exhale, take a dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full, plant your hands, step, or maybe hop back with me into your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, take your right leg and lift it high. Breathe in. 
As you exhale, bring it all the way through. And we're gonna go warrior two. So spin the back heel down and inhale your arms to a T, your Vajrasana two. Breathing in here, reach your arms up. As you exhale, laterally bend to the right. Inhale back up to center. As you exhale, laterally bend to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, cactus your arms open. Inhale up. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, spinal twist to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, fold forward in your warrior two, all the way to the ground. Your hands are coming down at an angle. Breathe in and exhale, walk it back towards the front of your mat and step back into your plank. Breathe in, exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Flip the toes back, inhale, back bend, open your heart. Exhale, roll the toes under, come back into your down dog. Take a moment here. Maybe a cleansing breath. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring it all the way through. We're going for front heel back arch alignment, but you find a stance that works for you. Windmill your arms up, warrior two. Breathing in, reach your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, laterally bend to your left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, laterally bend to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale up, exhale, fold forward, down at an angle, head rounds, breathe in, and exhale, just walk your hands to the front, pivoting the back foot, and step back into your plank. Breathing in, chaturanga, breathe out. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale, find your down dog or child's pose for five deep breaths. You might grab a sip of water. I am. See if you can stay with your breath. I really like practices where you have to stay in every single movement helps to harness the mind. So hopefully this sequence is providing that for you today. And if not, at least you're moving, right? You're breathing. When you're ready, come into your down dog. Bend the knees, look forward. And as you exhale, step, walk, or hop, to the top of your mat. Take a half lift as you breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Inhale to chair. And exhale, rise all the way up. Arms by your sides or heart center, mountain pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, sit into your chair. Exhale, take a dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step, walk, or hop it back. Go through this vinyasa with me or meet and down dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it through, this time to the outside of your right pinky, finding train track stance to get to Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, both arms come forward and up, so warrior one. Exhale, laterally bend to the right. My palms are together, but you can grab your wrist. You can do any position. Inhale, back up. 
laterally bend to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, up. And as you exhale, fold forward all the way down. Hands are on the inside of your foot and tuck the chin. Breathe in, come up halfway, pivot, and step back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, down dog. Take a moment, breathe. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it to the outside of the left pinky. Spin your heel down at a 45. Hips are squaring forward as much as possible. Arms reach up, warrior one. Staying nice and low into your lunge, finding that stance that's both steady and easy. Breathe in, and as you exhale, laterally bend to the left. Breathe into center. Laterally bend to the right. Breathe into center. Twist to the left. Breathe into center. Twist to the right. Breathe the center in. Breathe out. Open your heart. Cactus arms. Inhale up. And exhale, fold down. Hands come down, chin to chest, round like a cat. On your inhale, half lift. Pivot and step back. Exhale takes you down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale, down dog or child's pose for five deep breaths. Again, maybe you grab a sip of water. Maybe you really bask in the stillness of the physical body as the energetic body continues to move and open, as your breath continues to move and open, as the mind settles, as the heart settles. On your next breath, let's go back to down dog. Breathing in, we bring our feet together, bend the knees, look forward, breathing out, we step off our hop to the top of the mat. Take a half lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, chair. And exhale, rise. All right, so here comes that slow round with a four count breath, inhale and exhale. And then I promise you'll have a nice cool down. So let's do it. Are you ready? Take a nice exhale, emptying your belly out. And then begin to inhale, chair pose for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, half lift, one, two, three, four, exhale, plank for four, three, two, one. Hold your plank, push forward on your toes, inhale, one, two, three, four, modify, exhale, chaturanga, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open your heart for one, two, three, four, Exhale, down dog, four, three, two, one. So we're matching the movement with our breath, toes together. Inhale, right leg up for one, two, three, four. Exhale, place it between for four, three, two, one. Plant your heel. Inhale, warrior one for one, two, three, four. 
exhale, bend to the right for four, three, two, one. Inhale to center, slow, one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left for four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, twist to the right for four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left for four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, cactus, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, fold for four, three, two, one. Inhale, plank for one, two, three, four. Maybe your foot floats. Exhale, chaturanga, four, three, two, one. Inhale, heart opens, one, two, three, four. Exhale, down dog, four, three, two, one. Inhale, left leg, one, two, three, four. Exhale, forward, four, three, two, one. Warrior one stance, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, right, four, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, left for four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, right for four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, cactus, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, one, two, three, four. Exhale, fold for four, three, two, one. Inhale, plank for one, two, three, four. Float your foot. Exhale, lower, four, three, two, one. Inhale, cobra, one, two, three, four. Exhale, back for four, three, two, one. Let's keep going. Inhale, up to down dog. One, two, three, four. Exhale, feet together. Four, three, two, one. Step to the top for one, two, three, four. Stay here in a fold. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, half lift. One, two, three, four. Exhale, fold for four, three, two, one. Back to chair, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, stand for four, three, two, one. Stand here. Standing meditation. Let go of the control, regulated, really challenging, long breath. Let your natural rhythm and cadence come back. Let the breath feel easy, pleasant. See if you can observe not only your breath, but observe your physical body. Observe your head space. Observe your heart space. A 
Let's take three lion's breaths together. And we're gonna do it with just reaching our arms up and then bringing our arms back down. So usually I do with cactus arms, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just inhale, arms up. And exhale, lion's breath, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale it out. Inhale up. And exhale it out. We'll take those spinal movements one last time and going for a static hold. Inhale your arms up. And as you exhale, grab your left wrist and reach it over to the right. We're gonna stay here for five to seven breaths at your own pace. Noticing the easiness of getting into this in contrast to how we started when we were on our backs. All those opening postures. Inhale, back up. And exhale, grab the right wrist, lengthen over to the left. If you haven't already, you can take the gaze up. Do really what feels good for you, adapting the pose so that your breath is steady and easy. Inhale, come up, and exhale, twist to the right. At the end of this practice, your spine's going to feel really, really steady and easy, strong, and flexible. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, go the other way. And you'll come up. Let's do that back bend. Cactus your arms. And you're doing that as you send the tailbone down so that you're not over-exaggerating this arch in your lower back. And maybe you might even play with straightening the arms so it's a really full back bend even as you gaze up. I'm working my thighs really hard. They're spiraling in my tailbone down so that I can secure my pelvis and lower back to really bend. Bending in the thoracic and cervical spine. Inhale, come up. And as you exhale, bring your arms down, chin to chest, and zombie roll down. One vertebrae at a time. Slowly unstacking your spine. Coming down into that deep fold. Should feel pretty easy to get into it by this point. We always keep a little soft bend in our knees as we press the thighs back. Both of those actions at the same time. Take a half lift and then exhale, come into a crouching curl and sit down. Before we lay all the way back down, we're gonna do a couple of seated postures and I'm going to face you. You're more than welcome to join me going towards the long side of your mat. Take your legs and bring them out nice and wide for Upavishta Konasana, wide leg stretch. And then scoop your sit bones towards the ground, making sure the knees are facing up. And you can dorsiflex your feet so the toes are pulling in. 
Inhale, stretch the arms up. And as you exhale, lower the left arm down and reach the right arm up and over. Laterally bending to the side. And see if you can approach these final postures with a little bit more ease. So in fact, for me, that meant I'm not gonna dorsiflex my toes. I'm gonna let my toes just hang out. I'm not gonna really spread through my fingers as much. But for you, you might need to do that. Maybe you're on the end of the spectrum where you need to add some more steadiness and firmness. I have to always add a little bit more ease and less effort. I need to try not as hard, but you might need to try harder. And so that's up to you to self-study and to figure out where you are on that spectrum. Inhale, come up, and exhale, go the other way. So another way to look at it, if we're looking at all the layers of the body, is when it comes to our mental and our emotional state, do you tend to be more anxious? And can you add a little bit more ease to how you approach your life in your lifestyle? Or do you tend to be a little bit more down, low energy, even depressed? And so maybe you need to add a little bit more effort, some firmness and stability to you towards your lifestyle. More rigor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Take your legs and bring them in. Bring your feet together, knees wide for Baddha Konasana. And we'll add a twist to this one. So inhale, arms up. And exhale, twist over to the right. I love how in this book, Liber Liberating Isolations, and it's the Yoga Sutras, how it explains that asana is not just these postures, but it's also our physical posture, mental, emotional, energetic. And that it's also our attitude towards life. So again, yoga is more than just this movement, this exercise that we do. Yoga is a lifestyle. Breathe in, bring it back to center. And breathe out, go to the left. Inhale, come up. And as you exhale, bring your hands behind you. And your fingertips are on the ground and just lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Send the sacrum down. Take your gaze up. Breathe in, and then exhale, come forward, breathe out. Hands come towards your ankles, they maybe press the feet together. Breathe in, and exhale, roll forward, Baddha Konasana, cobbler pose. Come into a nice fold. So we're hinging at our hip crease. And when you do that, you can allow your spine to naturally come into flexion. But if you're feeling any lower back discomfort, usually that comes from the fact that you're probably bending at your waist up here, and that's not, that's not gonna be very pleasant or comfortable. So you might need to go a little bit more upright, lean forward, and then just drop the head to find that flexion.
On your next breath, slowly come up, bring the knees together, go back towards the short side of your mat. I'm gonna go this way and lower down. You might pass through fetal position or you can use your core to lower down. Coming onto your back. Coming to constructive rest, bring your feet to the ground, your knees are bent. Let your knees windshield wipe side to side. So we've done a lot for our spine. We're gonna just let the spine be here. If you have a block, you can lift your hips and put it right under your booty, sending the tailbone towards the back of your knees. Extend the left leg out. And this is to get into our hip flexors a little bit. And take the right knee in. You don't necessarily have to even grab your knee. Take a more passive approach to this stretch. By this point, you can breathe a little more naturally, signaling to the body that it's time to wind down. It's time to go to bed, maybe. Breathe in and exhale, reach your right leg back out, foot to the floor. Slide the left foot back forward. We're back to you. Take the right leg this time, send it out. Inhale the left leg in. Now, if you find that the lower back is over arc, then see if you can really readjust so that you're coming into a more neutral place. So this movement's coming from your hips and not the spine. breath in. As you exhale, your left leg comes up and down. Bring the right foot back in. Press into your heels. As you lift your hips, you can slide the block from underneath you if you had it there. And lower right back down. Hug both knees into your chest. For your final pose here, you can go knees to chest. Or you can find a happy baby. If there's some other posture that you really want to sprinkle in right now is the opportunity before we come into your Shavasana. And then wherever you're at, We'll take one final squeeze together. Big squeeze in, contract the whole body, engage, breathe. And exhale, release. Come into your Shavasana. And maybe you can grab a blanket, put it over you. Making sure that you can find a steadiness stability in you being able to be still 
by making sure that the posture is pleasant and comfortable. So use anything that you need to do that. And then bring your awareness back to your breath. Take an inhale in for one, two, three, four. Exhale out for four, three, two, one. Two more rounds. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. This time, breathe in. And let it go out. the bottom lip slightly open the tongue is floating and resting at the roof of your mouth your jaws relaxed your eyebrows your eyelids your whole body is relaxed honor yourself in your practice completely resting. So since you're in the comfort of your home, maybe you'd like to stay in your Shavasana for a longer period of time, you can do that. Or start to bring awareness to your breath. Not necessarily changing it, but noticing the effort 
freshness of your breath. And also notice that effortlessness of your body. Really being grateful for your spinal health. Spine which supports you all day long. Maybe start to add some movement to your fingers and toes, your ankles and your wrist. You might stretch out and then hug in and roll to a fetal position and we'll go to our left side. This is the end of the night. And then use your hands to press yourself up into a seated position. your eyes closed and your hands at your heart center. See if you can find a really easy seat here. And again, noticing your spine and the fluidity and the strength that you feel from all the movement that you gave to each of those vertebrae. Honoring the natural curves And all together, we'll finish with a collective breath in and out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Thank you so much for showing up to your mat, for practicing with me. And may we continue, both you and I, to make yoga not just a practice, but a lifestyle that we can have the balance of both effort and ease steadiness and comfort, rigor and pleasure. Thank you so much. Namaste. Okay. Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> Yay. Thank you.